To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with the 32 word cylinder. Then scale this cylinder along the z-axis. Then shift A and mage and add a cylinder. And this time I will go with the 16 word cylinder. Then rotate this cylinder into 90 degree and scale it along the y-axis. Then scale down this and try to match these vertical edges as much as you can. Then go to the edit mode, select these words and right click connect vertex pair. Then add bevel on it. Then add one center loop cut. Then select these words and move these words along the z-axis in this way. Select both the objects, apply the rotation and apply the scale. Then select everything and mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis in this way. Then select the cylinder, add a center loop cut, then add one more loop cut here and add one more loop cut here. Now select this object and select this object and shift Q, use the boolean operation, difference. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now select this words and press M, merge at last. Then use the knife tool and create cut CX in this way. Then select this edge loop and dissolve it. Use the knife tool and create cut like this. Then select everything mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x axis, y axis, and z axis. Then select this H loop and control B, add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shift factor should be one in this way. Increase the bevel width. Then select these words and merge them at last. Then select these words and use the H slide add there. And just try to adjust the position of the words. Then select these faces and delete them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Then select these words and then press J to connect them in this way. Use the knife tool add here and create cut like this. Select this inner face loop and delete it. Then select these faces and use the insert operation and press B to avoid the border like this. Select everything, press M and merge by distance and increase this merging distance. Add a loop cut here, then check the face orientation. Select everything and press Alt N to recalculate the normal. Then select this edge loop, Ctrl B, add bevel on it. Dissolve this H loop, add new H loop, add there and then press Alt S to scale it along the normal. And then Ctrl B, add bevel on it. Then add one loop cut here and one loop cut here. Then hit the Ctrl 2 to add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Uncheck this option and use the knife tool and create straight cut like this. And then dissolve this edges. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then take the symmetry along the x-axis and y-axis. Select these faces and dissolve them. Select this edge loop and control B, add bevel on them. Add one segment bevel. Select these edge loops and control B, add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel, shape factor should be one and give it the proper bevel width. Then select this face, use the insert operation and delete the face. Select this edge loop and then face, grid fill. Adjust the offset, turn on the simple blending. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the z-axis. Go to the matte cap view and turn on the cavity. So you can see the detail. You can see you are getting the E1 topology, E1 shading. So in this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See so next video. Take care.